Hello and welcome to Power Up Your Life, brought to you by Live Well Events and Fabletics. We will get going with our next session, um, Achieve Power, Peace and Positivity in just a second. Uh, just some housekeeping before we get going. There will be some time for questions at the end of the session, so please do pop them in the Q&A area that you'll see at the bottom of your screen. Use the chat to say hi to each other, interact with each other, and most importantly, enjoy the session and remember to tag us in your Instagram pictures at livewellevents and at fabletics.eu. So without any further ado, let's get going. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying your day and have found out lots of things to help you and the day isn't over yet. So it's now time for the next session, Achieve Power, Peace and Positivity with Dominique Antiglio, sophrologist, author and founder of Be Sofro. Dominique's 45 minute guided class is an immersive introduction to one of Europe's biggest wellness trends, sophrology. After this session, you'll be approaching life in the most positive and powerful way and gain an understanding of how to tap into your resilience and confidence when you need it most. So I'll now leave you with Dominique. Hey, hello everybody. So happy to be here. I, I hope you can see me and you can hear me. Welcome everyone here this afternoon. It's, um, it's a blessing to be back with uh, Live Well. Um, I've been at the festival many times before and um, you know it's always a, a good time. So I hope you will enjoy the session with me this afternoon. I think we're keeping the question for, for later on. So I'll, I'll just uh, start straight away to tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do this afternoon. So we're gonna first um, talk a little bit about the context in which we're gonna practice sophrology this afternoon. Then I'll tell you all about sophrology for those who haven't heard of it perhaps or are new to it. And then we will do a practice and I'll explain exactly um, what we do. You see it's super easy and um, I hope you will enjoy it. So before we start, shall we just do a little minute of regrouping perhaps I'm, I'm just inviting you to close your eyes if you feel like just notice your your body on the chair and just tune into your breath just be aware of the presence of your breath and maybe you've had things on your mind this afternoon or you might feel a little bit of tension in your body right now or tiredness so you could simply inhale clench every muscle of your body really clench even the back the sides the feet and then just exhale and let the tension go yeah we just relax just notice how the body feels. You can do it a second time with all tension and anxieties or anything else that is on the mind that is not necessary right now. We just inhale, tense, and exhale. And then just Tune into the present moment, perhaps with the energy of the group as well. Even if we're doing this remotely, somehow we are all connected. And it's nice to just acknowledge that. Okay, and then you can open your eyes again. <clears throat> okay, so, you know, we don't need to really look very far to see that the world is changing very fast at the moment. Um, you know, travel restrictions, this uh, pandemic, the virus, um, perhaps all the potential losses or economic issues that are on their way. Um, I think we all have had some sort of disruption in our life in the last uh, six months, and it looks like it's not gonna finish very soon, yeah? So, 
you know, I've been doing sophrology for the last um, 20 years as a professional. I started when I was 15 year old and I've seen recently a lot of requests around stress, around anxiety, around difficulty to find that sense of peace and, um, and the confidence to go out in the world and, and make those changes that we, we kind of forced to do at the moment. And um, first of all, let me tell you that if you feel challenged, if you, if you um, lack confidence at the moment or you feel under stress or your anxiety is, 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 is as raised or your sleep, you're, you're, not, you're not alone. Yeah? I think it's a totally normal feeling to be uh, in at the moment. And um, it's, it's the nature of change. Yeah? When we are in a transition as a collective um, world, but also on a personal level, maybe changing jobs or trying to reinvent your career or, you know, whatever you have to deal with at the moment. It's totally normal, first of all, to, to have these uh, feelings. And um, I think if we take a moment every day, maybe five, ten minutes to regroup and have a tool that can help us to uh, reconnect and then reframe the reality we live in, this, then, this change then becomes an opportunity to um, transform, to look for better, to actually um, perhaps let go of the things that no longer serves and really embrace who you are and what you want to do and what you want to contribute in this world. So, um, and let me tell you a little secret after those 20 years of, of practicing sophrology and supporting people with all sorts of issues, um, I've seen that many times that the biggest change don't happen because we are doing the change in the mind, yeah? Let's say you have an issue at the moment or you wanna overcome um, an anxious state or you're looking for more positivity or peace in your life. Um, telling yourself you need to think more positively doesn't work, does it? I mean, it will work for five minutes, but very quickly you'll go back to how you felt before or when you, you have to force yourself into doing a journal, or you have to go to the gym because you've, you, you've been, um, you, you think this is gonna help you, but deep inside you don't really feel for it. Um, you know, all these, these things that we're trying to solve with the mind, um, the, the answer we're trying to uh, get for our lives, um, we are we are very much in the in the mind all the time, and actually this is not where the biggest transformation can take place. This is not, in my opinion, an experience where um, the biggest uh, shift are happening for people. For me, the biggest shift happens when you're able to tune into a much deeper layer of yourself, which is called consciousness. And sophrology is really the science of consciousness in harmony. The word itself comes from the Greek roots, sos, friend, and logos. Sos is harmony, friend is consciousness, and logos is it's the study or the science. So um, the founder of sophrology, who was a neuropsychiatrist uh, in the 60s, he put together this method based on breathing, on relaxation, on visualization, on body awareness work with movement in order to tap into the power of consciousness and to go a, a level deeper than the mind. Perhaps your body has got something to say. Perhaps your emotion have got something to say today. And how can you listen to that and tap into the power of this deeper layer? The, the founder of sophrology, Alfonso Caicedo, who I studied with, um, he passed away two years ago and he, or three years ago now, and he was a fantastic man. He was not only a scientist, he was a, a neurologist, um, but he was also someone who really had a vision from the 60s that actually, you know, we can create more positivity in our lives. We can <clears throat> shift those, the, the way we think, we act, um, we envisage the future by working with consciousness and his whole work has been trying to research and understand how consciousness works and we still don't know there's still so much to to discover on a scientific level but he, he already had started that journey into understanding and he says that consciousness is a power it's a power that animates us 
um, it's an energy which organizes us and everything, all the component that makes us a human being with an existence. And um, it's, it's, it's basically what connects mind, body, soul, and emotion all together and make it, make it work in a harmonious and integrated way. And as soon as you have a pain or as soon as you have a dysfunction in your mind, the balance in consciousness starts to shift a little bit. And therefore, sophrology is here to help it bring it back, yeah? Uh, so sophrology is therefore a modern form of meditation and the aim of sophrology is to build resilience, it's to build positivity, um, purpose using these very practical tools that we're going to discover in a moment. Um, so sophrology can be used as a problem solver. So I've got a lot of clients who have sleep problems, uh, who have anxiety, who are preparing for sports performance and they want to feel at their best, be at their best. Um, and I have people who are looking for um, the deeper journey, you know, what is my purpose? Um, what am I, am I here to do? Um, what are the change that I could do in my life that would be more beneficial for me? And I'm not here to tell them. I'm here to give them the, this amazing tool of sophrology, which has 12 levels of, of 12 steps of practices so that they can tap into that and they can really dive um, and, and find their answers. So today we will practice um, um, together um, the way we transform consciousness, the way we unlock um, relaxation, the way we unlock confidence and positivity and feel empowered is really by practicing. That's the repetition of the practice that actually makes the transformation. And this is why today I'm going to guide you to a, a very basic and, and wonderful practice of sophrology. And after that, you can find that, that same practice to repeat it on my Instagram. So if you go at, at London, you will find in the link in the bio, you can click and there you can practice it again. The, the practice is called... Um, a, um, I don't know exactly the word on Instagram we've put, but it's, it's the a happy daily life. It's an audio recording, yeah? So we're gonna practice to transform the way we, we, we wanna live our daily life. We don't need to do a long journey to transform and feel better. We can start today for tomorrow and, and do these baby steps with the practice and, and feel a change immediately, not wait to do a long journey and suddenly find this place of enlightenment. We can start today, yeah, and, and move forward. Um, so, um, let me show you the practice now. I'm going to show you the different steps and explain what they're for. And we will practice together. And then you can ask me all the questions you, you want. Yeah. So we will practice sitting. Sophrology has practices standing, lying. Uh, you can even practice walking down the street uh, once you, you, you really uh, kind of master it a little bit more. But today, because of the purpose of this, I've decided to do a sitting practice, yeah? So the first movement is this one. It's called the Tratak. Let, I'll show it to you and we'll do it together later. So we're gonna look at a point on your thumb. We extend the arm here, we inhale, we hold the breath and we bring a point that we look at on the thumb in between the eyebrows. We really cross eye and then we close the eyes. This exercise the, is called the Tratak. It's an exercise as inspired from yoga <clears throat> and meditation. You will see uh, sophrology is really a blend of Eastern practices like yoga and meditation and Western science. So in everything we do, uh, you, will, you will find um, things that you perhaps have discovered somewhere else. The beauty is that the way we, we bring it together and the purpose we, we do it with, this is what is unique to sophrology. So we start with this lovely tratak, which is a way to focus. And then we will do a body scan, yeah? Why do we do the body scan? It's an invitation for the body to relax because we are going to dive into the alpha brainwave state, yeah? 
That's the state you're in when you relax, when you meditate, when you daydream. And this um, state is very healing for the body and allows you to, to connect with consciousness, go beyond just the mind, the rational, yeah? Um, once we're there, maybe we find tension, tension in the mind, tension in the body. So what we do, we connect to each part of the body and use the clearing breath. So in sophrology, the body is divided into five regions. The first is the head and face, and the central point of that region is between the eyebrows. So we'll connect there at some point. The second region is the throat, shoulder, arms and hand. The central point is on the throat. The third region is here, it's the chest and upper back. And the, the point we're gonna connect the fingers with is here. The fourth is here on the upper tummy region. We connect here in the solar plexus. And the fifth region is the lower tummy, the legs, the feet, and we'll connect here very much in the lowest part of the stomach. And we'll finish by connecting the hands on the belly button. So we just bring the tips of the finger here and the belly buttons represents the whole body, all your system. So when you are in, after the body scan, I will simply guide you and we will go and touch each zone and for each zone, we're gonna do an inhale, a tension, and an exhale. In the exhale, we use the exhale through the mouth to clear tension, okay? So use your intention and just observe what happens. Maybe nothing happens for you, and that's fine. Maybe you feel a release. Um, just observe, okay? There's nothing to succeed in sophrology. It's all about what, I, what, I, what can I feel, yeah? And observe it. Okay, once we've done that, we'll do a little pause and then I will ask you the question. What is it that you want to cultivate in your daily life at the moment? And don't try to think about it now because there's no point to think it with the mind. Let your consciousness tell you, yeah? So just be just throw the question, see if something gets, comes back to you. If it doesn't, just carry on the exercise. If something comes up, great, just register it, yeah? Then we will do a little visualization of an entire day. Could be tomorrow, could be next week, it could be one of your working days. Just choose, you know, a normal day of your life. How could you visualize that day and make it as positive as possible? Like you can transform anything, like you can have time for your breakfast if you never have, you can, your house might be decluttered, um, all the stuff that are in the way of you experiencing a happy life, um, a, a happy day, um, you know, you just, you just try to, um, um, you, sorry, I'm just checking the message to make sure that we're all here. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so you just make it as positive as you can and I'll guide you through the different phases of the day. Why do we do that? Because this is the best way to rewire your brain. If you are able to create new images for your personal life, your, your brain doesn't know this is not happening. It thinks it's the present moment. It can't distinguish between a film or between a, a, real, a, a real experience or something you visualize. And the more you do that, this is how you start to make new connection in your brain and rewire towards more possibilities. Okay, um, and at the end, <clears throat> once we've done that, even if you did not manage to see anything, if nothing was clear, you were not able to visualize, just notice, okay? Be nice with yourself, it's no problem. And at the end, we'll just take a few breaths, come back gently, uh, move a little bit and open the eyes, yeah? Shall we do that? The whole thing will probably last 15 minutes and um, <clears throat> the aim is really to perhaps enjoy it if you can, yeah? <laughs> and don't hesitate to move around or whatever, you know, just adjust the technique for, for your, your needs, yeah? Okay, so let's do that. <clears throat> so you take a comfortable position. And remember, you can 
download that session after so you can repeat it, yeah? Okay, so let's do the tratak. We're gonna look at a point on the stem. We're going to inhale. Hold the breath and bring that point. You look at it whilst you hold your breath and you bring it in between your eyebrows. Then you close the eyes, you exhale. And you find a really comfy and relaxing position. Let's connect with the position of your body, the feet on the floor. Your hands are on your laps or anywhere else it's comfortable. And let's connect to the awareness of the face. Your forehead, your eyes, the back of the eyes. Allowing the cheeks to relax, the jaw to relax. Just noticing the space that your head takes. And every time you exhale, perhaps you can invite your brain to relax. A little bit like if your brain was a muscle today. Let's become aware of that first region of the body, the first system, the head and face. Relaxing. <clears throat> now let's be aware of this, the throat region, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the hands. And invite that second system of the body to fully relax. Then let's tune into the chest and the upper back. And just notice what, what's happening there. Let's invite the heart, the lungs to relax. Let's allow all our inner organs to fully relax. Let's tune into the tummy region and the lower tummy region. Just notice how the tummy feels right now. And inviting the lower back to relax. Noticing or sensing all your inner organs. Allowing them to relax too. Every time you breathe in and out through the tummy. Now let's focus on the presence of the legs and the feet. And invite the lower body to fully relax. Now let's interlace the fingers first. Let's inhale and bring both arms above the head to a nice tension of the entire body just to be really aware of its presence. And then as you release your arms down, just bring the tips of your fingers in between the eyebrows, connecting to that first region of your body, your head, your face. And then simply inhale. Do a gentle tension of that first region and exhale. Once more, we inhale. Tense and exhale. Let's connect to the throat region now. Being aware of your neck, arms, hands. Can you feel any tension there that you'd like to release? So let's inhale. Gently tense the shoulders and exhale. 
Once again, we inhale. Tense and exhale. Great, now let's go to the third system, the chest and the breastbone area. <clears throat> let's be aware of the upper back as well. And we inhale. Gently tense the third system, the chest, upper back, and let's exhale. Once again, we inhale. Gently tense. And then exhale. The tips of your fingers in the upper tummy region. Let's connect with that solar plexus and lower back. And inhale. Tense. And exhale. Once more, inhale. Tense and exhale. Tips of your fingers in the lowest part of your tummy. Connecting with your pelvis, your legs, your feet. Can you spot any tension there perhaps? So you just inhale, gently tense and exhale. Once more, tense and exhale. The tips of your fingers on the belly button, which represents your entire body. And maybe any tension you can still feel right now in your mind, in your body, somewhere in your consciousness. So just inhale. Acknowledge that and let it go. And then relax and sit back again for a time of pause. Just notice what is happening perhaps in your body. Any sensations of warmth? Any sensation of relaxation or flow? Just see if you can breathe with your stomach rather than your chest, just inviting the breath to center itself in the abdominal region. Your inhale, your tummy inflates. On your exhale, your tummy relaxes. Just do that a few times. Perhaps welcoming a sense of peace. Now let's ask ourselves that question. What is the resource that I'd like to cultivate in my daily life? Resource could be confidence, relaxation, calm, joy, health, laughter, gratitude, Perhaps something I need to stimulate within myself. Something that just naturally comes to me as I ask, what is it that I need most at the moment?
just let that word come to you. And if it doesn't, don't worry. It's fine, just observe. If you feel uncomfortable at any point during the visualization we're gonna do, you can always inhale, tense your body, and exhale to release tension. Don't force anything, there's no point. Okay, so let's picture the most positive day. Choose a daily activity, perhaps you're doing your usual environment, or anything that comes up at the moment in your visualization. And try to picture yourself as you wake up in the morning and creating this ideal picture. How would I like to feel when I first wake up in the morning? and try to picture it on your inner screen, perhaps very precisely, or perhaps just an intuition about it. How you want to spend your time having breakfast, or doing the things you love in the morning, as you get ready for your day. How does it feel like, perhaps when you wake up and you prepare? Just try to picture it as positively as possible. What are the positive feeling you could have in your body? And just try to connect with those. And then as you go through your morning, perhaps looking after your children or going to meetings or traveling, Whatever it is that you are doing in your daily life, just picture it in the most positive way. Perhaps you want to be productive, you want to be happy, or you want the sun to be shining bright. You want to be dressed in the way you prefer. Just picture it. Perhaps those interactions you have through the day. Just picture them in the most positive way. And if you've got any resistance through this visualization, this is part of the process of rewiring. Just inhale, tense your body, tense all your system, and then exhale. And just try to accept where you are now, that's fine. And then carry on perhaps seeing a lunch break or any afternoon break. And how you can best transition into the end part of your day. What is it that you do at that time that you could picture in the most positive way? Perhaps being calm, being positive, or just going with the flow in a very nice way. The same into your evening, perhaps you can See a nice routine for bedtime. How is it that you'd like to feel at the end of your days?
And then picture it, picture the most easy way to fall asleep, just naturally. Just picture that, especially if this isn't easy for you, you can maybe make it look really easy on your image. Try to give yourself that option. If it's difficult, you just inhale, tense your body and exhale. And then just choose one feeling that you've experienced during this visualization, perhaps a positive feeling. And you just inhale it right now. Inhale and exhale. A bit like if you're connecting that feeling with your body right now. Bring it into your body, that sense of calm, that sense of confidence that sense of flow. Just inhale it and exhale it a few times to really connect with your body right now. And then let go of all these images. Every time we practice, this is different. This is why we repeat the practice and dive deeper every time. So for now, let's come back to a usual state of awareness without rushing, perhaps moving your toes, your fingers, perhaps moving your shoulders, stretching or do whatever <clears throat> feels right, maybe moving, Breathing deeply. <clears throat> Until you're ready to open your eyes again. Welcome back everybody. I hope you could follow. I hope this was somehow meaningful to you. Just perhaps think about, you know, what you've just experienced. Usually in sophrology, we write it down. So we take a little notepad and, and we just, um, you know, we just write down. Like I, someone is saying, I feel very calm. So you could write that, I feel very calm, or I felt my second system tight and then my third system was more relaxed, or perhaps uh, today I couldn't visualize or perhaps I saw this amazing thing, or you know, whatever comes to you, uh, you write it down. Why do, you, why do we do that? Because your brain will register this in another part of your brain. Remember, we went into the alpha brainwave state, and now the brain can also record it in another part. It's almost creating a little bit li a, a library of um, experience. Um, and then when you go in your daily life, uh, you will re be able to remember in your brain, in your conscious brain, uh, these experience and say, okay, yes, I, I have felt a sense of serenity already. Okay, if I close my eyes, where can I get it? Yeah, so it's, it becomes a very usual thing. And that's why you can then do sophrology on the go, because actually all of these things are inside you. The empowerment, um, the confidence, the, the awareness of your body, um, all of this is with you, yeah? So usually we do much more body stuff things, like we stand, we do some little movement for people who are struggling with the meditation, people who are struggling with being calm. I think it's very important that you know sophrology is not always seated, doesn't need to, to last 15 minutes. This is just an example, but there's a lot of practices of sophrology that are more dynamic for people who need it, yeah? Um, last thing I want to conclude on is like, how do you, how do you, do you want to include sophrology in your life? So remember the, the, um, the recording you can download from my Instagram. That's a great place to start. You could decide to do that same recording for the next two weeks and see how you get, see how it affects your life. 
does something change? Do you feel, um, you know, even the smallest change is already a change, yeah? So just try and otherwise you, there's, you can always use parts of the practice. If this is too long, you could just use the tension relax when you're stressed. You could just uh, use the clearing breath on one system when you feel tight in your shoulders. Um, you could uh, use a visualization as you fall asleep. So, you know, you will become your own healer. You will use this tool because you know they, they, how they feel to you and how they, they're meaningful to you, yeah? And, um, yeah, and then I just want to uh, share that I'm uh, doing a sleep course. I'm starting um, in a month's time. We will launch uh, probably this week. Um, it's a, it's a seven-week online course for people who have trouble sleeping. So a bit same format as this, actually. We will um, journey through the different steps of the method to address sleep problems and really recover and, and change the way we think about sleep and, and, and address the lifestyle behind it and, and every aspect of it. We'll even have guests there that will come and, and join the community. So... Uh, watch out for that if any of you are, are struggling for, for sleep at the moment. Yeah, it's a big one with changes and, and it's such an important one to achieve peace. Yeah, because unless you, you have sleep, it's, it's ex extremely difficult to use your consciousness in a positive way because you're, you're, you're just a little bit um, not in the right space. space yeah? All right, thank you. So I'm happy to take questions. Let, let me see. Uh, the Q&A. So thank you for your comment. Um, wonderfully relaxing. Never heard of this before. I'm happy I'm here then. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. There's a couple of questions in the Q&A. Okay, what's the best time of the day to practice sophrology? Okay, great question. I think um, there is no best time. Personally, I don't have a routine. A lot of practitioners and therapists, yogi, they have a routine in the morning or in the evening. Me, I'm a mom, um, I'm self-employed, uh, my husband travels, comes back, you know, there's, there's a lot going on in our family. Um, so for me, um, I'm adapting sophrology to my life, to my way of, 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 of flowing through my day. So it could be a uh, first thing when I get into my office, definitely not when I wake up because I have a four year old and there's no space for doing a relaxing sophrology practice in the morning. Um, I always try to fit it in at some point during my day. Um, and it could be sitting at my desk, taking this 10 minutes pause. It could be um, pausing during one of my walks. Uh, I do a lot of walking, so sometimes just uh, taking 15 minutes, sitting on um, near a tree and doing this move, doing this, you know, I, I just, um, it's part of my life, but I, I use it all the time, but in, in very flexible way. Does your book cover all the levels of sophrology? So that's my book. It's called The Life-Changing Power of Sophrology. You can find it on Amazon and it doesn't cover the whole level. I wish... Uh, when I start writing, my, my hope was to cover the 12 level, but it's so dense. There's so much there in the 12 level. So it gives you an overview of the level and it takes you of the whole level in a theoretical way. So you understand what these levels are, <clears throat> but then it takes you to the foundation practice of sophrology, level one and a little bit of level two. And that gives you enough tool uh, to really... Um, connect with the calm and happy you, which is part of the title, because most people in my practice use these two levels. If you want to journey more, you want to go deeper, then there's so much more in sophrology, and uh, I hope I will write another book soon so you, can, so you can know more about it, yeah? What's your top tip to find your inner power and also inner peace? I guess two different things. Oh, okay, my top tip. I, my top tip is that you have the power to find your inner power and your inner peace. So there's no one on this planet that knows better what, where and what form is your inner peace for you, yeah? So I'm convinced we all have inner peace inside. And I think if we practice just five to 10 minutes a day, 
we will find this inner peace. We, we will get there. And it's not two years away. It can be um, two practices of sophology and suddenly you, you start to, ah, oh, okay, that's, I had a moment of real inner peace there. And I will start to um, cultivate that. I, th I think um, being aware of your needs um, and your possibilities is probably the biggest pa uh, power aspect. You know, to be empowered, to me, it's, it's about knowing yourself, knowing your strengths, knowing your values, which we do a lot in sophrology. We, we, we cultivate, um, we try to find what is it we value. And we do this through the practice, not an intellectual um, list, yeah? but we try to embody our values, yeah? And um, so knowing yourself to me is the greatest power because from there, everything is possible. When life throws something at you, you can go inside and try and, and find what you need to solve it, yeah? Um, and, and, and be in touch with yourself. Um, okay, what's your top tip? Yeah, I think I've, um, what would you say? Okay, what would you say is the top benefit that sophology brings to your life? Uh, the top benefit, um, I think for a lot of people is stress management because they, some people just want to solve an issue they have. Um, I think sophology is wonderful for anxiety, for stress, for sleep. Um, these are the most common thing why people actually start sophology. Um, the top benefit for me for me, my top benefit in my story, I started at 15 year old because I had a health issue. In five sessions, sophology cleared my health issue. But not only that, it gave me the sensation that I could be in the driving seat of my life. Um, so having a life where you, you have more awareness and you, you feel you, you're more in touch with yourself, uh, I think it brings all the meaning and the depth to the life we go through. And for me, feeling in the driving seat of my life, not every day, not all the time, <laughs> I reassure you, um, like everybody, but I think definitely it opened up a, 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 um, a lot of possibilities for me in, inside myself, but also in the world, yeah? All right. I think we're done. I thank you everybody for following me. <laughs> Hi Dominique, oh my goodness, that was um, just lovely. I hope you saw the great comments there. Calm, relaxed, um, wonderful people, really enjoyed it. I think there are quite a few people there that have never done it before. I did it, I feel so relaxed, I need to go and have a lie down. <laughs> but, <laughs> <Me too. laughs> it was, no, it really was um, quite beautiful, thank you. Really, really enjoyed that and I think a lot of people did too, so really appreciate your time. Um, the next session will be starting at half past four, so not long. It's the final session of the day and it is Power Your Mood Through Food with the amazing nutritionist Clarissa Lenher. So tune in at 4.30 and I will see you then. Thank you. Thanks, Dominique. Bye. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. <laughs>